curative asanas for heart trouble number 1 is ujjayi pranayam sit in any comfortable position like padmasana siddhasana or virasana keep the back erect lower the head to the trunk perform jalandhara bandha stretch the arms out straight and perform janana mudra with the hands close the eyes and look inward exhale completely now the ujjayi method of breathing begins take a slow deep steady breath through both the nostrils the passage of the incoming air is felt on the roof of the palate and makes a sibilant sound that is so the sound should be heard fill the lungs up to the brim care should be taken not to bloat the abdomen in the process of inhalation the entire abdominal area from the pubes up to the breast bone should be pulled back towards the spine hold the breath for a second or two this internal retention is called andhara kumbhaka now observe mula bandha exhale slowly deeply and steadily until the lungs are completely empty as you begin to exhale keep your grip on the abdomen after 2 or 3 seconds of exhalation relax the diaphragm gradually and slowly this exhalation is called ri chakha wait for a second before drawing a fresh breath repeat the cycles for 5 to 10 minutes keeping the eyes closed throughout ujjayi pranayam may be done without the jalandhara bandha even while walking or lying down this is the only pranayam which can be done at all times of the day and night ujjayi without kumbhaka done in a reclining position is ideal for persons suffering from high blood pressure or coronary troubles relax lie down in shavasana number 2 is nadi sodhana pranayam sit in any comfortable position like padmasana siddhasana or virasana keep the back erect lower the head to the trunk perform jalandhara bandha stretch the left arm and perform janana mudra with the left hand bend the right arm at the elbow bend the index and middle fingers towards the palm keeping them passive bring the ring and little fingers towards the thumb place the right thumb on the right side of the nose just below the nasal bone 
the ring and little fingers on the left side of the nose just below the nasal bone press the ring and the little finger to block the left side of the nose completely with the right thumb press the fatty tissue on the right side so as to make the outer edge of the right nostril parallel to the lower edge of the cartilage of the septum the right thumb is bent at the top joint and the tip of the thumb is placed at a right angle of the septum now empty the lungs completely through the right nostril control the aperture of the right nostril with the inner side of the right thumb now inhale slowly steadily and deeply controlling the aperture with the tip of the right thumb fill the lungs up to the brim during this inhalation the left nostril is completely blocked After full inhalation, block the right nostril completely with the pressure of the thumb and release the pressure of the ring and little fingers on the left nostril. Readjust them on the outer edge of the left nostril and exhale slowly. Steadily and deeply empty the lungs completely after full exhalation change the pressure by adjusting the fingers now inhale through the left nostril filling the lungs up to the brim now block it and exhale through the right nostril adjusting the pressure of the right thumb on the right nostril and this completes one cycle of nadi shodhana pranayam perform 8 to 10 cycles at a stretch this may take 6 or 8 minutes Inhalation and exhalation from each side should take the same time. After achieving mastery over the equal duration and precision over inhalation and exhalation on either side, an attempt may be made to retain breath after inhaling. retention should not disturb the rhythm and equality of inhalation and exhalation do not attempt to hold the breath after exhalation until you have mastered retention after inhalation then during bhaya kumbhaka practice udhyana with mula bandha person suffering from high blood pressure or heart trouble should never attempt to hold their breath they can practice nadi shodhana pranayam without retention with beneficial effect conclude by lying down in shavasana and relax for a while number 3 is meditation 
यू मे डू कपाल भाती प्राणायाम एंड अनुलोम विलोम इन मेडिटेशन In Kapal Bhati, the inhalation is slow, but the exhalation is vigorous. There is is a split second of retention after each exhalation. Kapal Bhati activates and invigorates the liver, spleen, pancreas. and abdominal muscles thus digestion is improved the senses are trained eyes feel cool and one has a general sense of exhilaration अनुलोम विलोम प्राणायाम इन अनुलोम विलोम प्राणायाम इनहेलेशन इज फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट नोस्ट्रिल एंड देन एक्सलेशन इज फ्रॉम द राइट नोस्ट्रिल देन अगेन वी इनहेल थ्रू द राइट नोस्ट्रिल एंड एक्सेल थ्रू द लेफ्ट नोस्ट्रिल दिस प्रोसेस इज कंटिन्यूड फॉर वन मिनट टू फाइव मिनट अकॉर्डिंग to your capacity low blood pressure high blood pressure mental stress get benefits from anulom vilom pranayam air is to be taken into chest and not into abdomen relax lie down in shavasana